Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Connecticut House of Representatives expresses its sincere sympathy and heartfelt condolences on the passing of one of its respected former members, John G. Grappo, whose death is a profound loss to the General Assembly, his family and friends, and the, res the residents of the town of Winstead and the people of Connecticut. And Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I guess in the 63rd District, as you just heard, I have some big shoes to fill. Um, 26 years uh, Mr. Grappo served in these chambers, um, and it's much appreciated. I looked back when I was doing some of the research, and some things that stuck in my head is what we heard here a few weeks ago, and Representative Orange brought it out, is, and our minority leader here is, how is your family? And when talking with the Grappo family and getting them to come up to this uh, to the House for this resolution. Not only did Johnny do a great job serving his local community, serving his state, but he also served his nation very well in his country. Um, and with that said, I'd like to introduce the family members real quickly that came up here today for this. Um, and if you can stand up, please, or down in the well. Um, Linda and Betsy, um, Nancy Groth and her husband, Philip, his daughter, Gloria, and the grandson, Ryan and great grandson Calvin. They all came out today from different parts of the state. So let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. The distinguished minority leader, Representative Caffaro. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, ladies and gentlemen, of late we've talked about this great chamber and its history and the giants who have served in this chamber. I did not have the privilege and honor of knowing Mr. Grappo, but I knew of Mr. Grappo. I think many of you who have any interest or history in the General Assembly and certainly the House of Representatives would have heard the name John Grappo. He was a legend. He was a giant. He did so much for this institution, for this state, and obviously, as you heard from the resolution, for his country. To his family from this side of the aisle, we extend our condolences. We thank you for sharing him with us and the state for all these years. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker.